So today I kind of wanted to show out a game that uh, I discovered a while back. Hadn't played it for a while, but then I thought about it the other day and I was like, hey, I kind of want to play this game. And uh, let me tell you, this game is actually pretty hard to find now. It's just, you know, a game made by one guy. And uh, it's kind of funny because he uses the uh, Mugen engine, which is more known for like versus fighters, but pretty much only versus fighters. It's kind of like this engine where you it's a freeware thing or whatever and you can um, like take fighting game characters from other games and just kind of like make your dream fighting game like you want you know Ryu to fight I don't know Kyo from King of Fighters or something boom make it happen you know just whatever you want but uh, this guy it's still kind of a versus fighter but it's mechs and uh, there's like lots of, it's kind of like a, sh it's like an STG or shoot 'em up. Don't really like saying shoot 'em up, but most people know it as that. But it's STG meets a versus fighter kind of, and you have like three buttons or three attack buttons and one like boost slash block button, and each one of your attack buttons, uh, if, if you just press it or you press it with a quarter circle forward or a quarter circle back. Uh, will shoot a different bullet pattern and your objective of course is to destroy your opponent so so basically you have nine different attacks and a boost slash shield button but uh let's go ahead and just uh, try it out oops I didn't want to do that it has a pretty cool arcade mode but uh it had ranges from like one on one fights to one on two to two on two to tag team kind of thing, and even kind of like mission based uh, mission where you like escort something or destroy something. But one thing I will say is that sometimes there's like so much stuff going on the screen that uh, the game will experience flicker and not like the NES flicker where like you can still kind of see your sprite with like an invisible bar kind of rolling through it or it flashes real fast or something for a second. I mean flicker like where there's so much stuff on the screen that like whole sprites will just disappear for like 15 seconds uh, and, and they can still be hit or you know whatever but they like disappear because there's so much stuff going on, on the screen and the, the game engine just can't handle it. So most of the time when I play I mean, I like to do arcade and do like an escort mission or a versus mission, but my favorite is just to play survival. And I recommend using like a gamepad. I'm using a PS2 wireless with a uh, PS2 to PS3 to USB converter thing. But uh, you could totally play it with a, a keyboard and use like WASD and like the number keys or whatever. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So all these, if you press up and down, all these are different mechs to pick, and they're all pretty different. Like there's not, there might be one or two that are a little bit similar looking, but have totally different bullet patterns. But uh, there's a lot of mechs. It's pretty impressive. This whole game is actually pretty impressive for being made by just one dude. Uh, and then I think you can press left and right to switch pilots and. Uh, I don't really see what having a different pilot does, except for I think maybe um, it changes your bullet color. Not your patterns or anything, because your patterns are dependent on your mech, but your bullet colors, I think. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try a match. I think I was trying to... Uh, I think I had some good luck with this first blue one. So we'll try that with the... Uh, with the female Cobra Commander. And we'll fight against a random person. Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool bullet pattern. I don't know about the exploding bubbles, but got some seeking lasers. Let's see what else we got. Alright. Oh, my shield. This guy's like all over me. 
Oh, oh yeah, and there's melee attacks. If you use like your weakest attack when you're in close range, you can do like a melee. Alright, uh, I'm not liking I'm not liking this mech too much like I thought it was. It must be a different one that I picked the other day. Whoa! Oh, he's thrashing. Oh man. Where am I? Did I die? Oh, there I am. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay, I didn't care for that for that mech. I want to find a different one. And you know, uh, the music isn't like you're not gonna try to rip it from the game and like play it in your ride or anything. It's not that good, but it's really it's fitting for the game. So. Alright, let's try this one. Oh yeah, this is the one. I like this one. I think. Yeah, that's a pretty cool pattern right there. <laughs> Computer's not smart enough to come get me, I guess. Okay, I'll take that back. Oh, man. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I like that mech. That mech's pretty good. Emergency. Let's try one more. Or actually, let's go random. Like, a couple times. Yeah, I just really wanted to share this game. I think, uh... I'd be willing to bet that almost nobody knows about this game. So, just wanted to throw it out there. Give it a little bit of credit, I guess you could say. Let's pick an outer space one. I don't really care much for the ones on the ground. I think this one's in space, let's do that. Emergency. Oh yeah! Oops, did I pick the same one by accident? Because this looks pretty similar. Maybe the pilot actually does have some dictation on the bullets. I don't know. Oh, I picked random, that's right. <laughs> oh, get off me. You're going for that melee. Oh. Man, what kind of attack is that? It's like freezing in place. I'm just gonna spray some weak attack. <laughs> Melee finish. But yeah, that's Babble Sword. Check out Google and you can probably find it.